Hey everybody, this is the new Zero One Feeling Slider. It's mechanical, it's stainless steel, it's pretty awesome. We're going to take it apart and talk about it. Stick around. So this just arrived and uh, it only took 12 days to get here. I did not get in on the pre-order. Uh, this was through EDC Cartel. Uh, the pre-order was... Uh, $59 and uh, I waited till they were in stock. It was just $10 more, but uh, <clears throat> I'm really happy with it. Uh, uh, it's it's currently set up the way that it came to me. So there's stainless steel balls, springs, and spring caps in there. Um, there was no special packaging. It was just a small padded envelope and it was packaged well enough that it didn't get damaged or anything, but uh, it came with a few extras. Uh, unfortunately, I've got some bad news to report here. I don't know who's putting the stuffs in the bags over at uh, Zero One, but this is a, an Allen head uh, hex bit. And uh, these are Torx. Torx 9, to be precise. Uh, this doesn't even fit. You know, sometimes a hex bit will fit. In a Torx, but it doesn't even fit, so I feel like you wasted a chunk of steel there. But uh, there were two stainless steel balls which were already in here, and uh, they give you two black zirconium nitride balls and then a couple extra springs. So that's all you get for extras, which is that's better than nothing, that's more than most. Um, I would have liked to have seen what I'm going to show you, like I said, the Stainless steel balls are in here now, and also the little caps that go on the uh, springs. And I prefer the uh, uh, nylon balls. I happen to have some of my own. So that's one of the things we'll do here, is when we take, do take it apart, we'll take out the stainless steel balls and put in the nylon ones, and you'll be able to see what the difference is there. But <clears throat> you see, it's nice and... I like the size and shape. I like, I like, I like it a lot. Yeah, the dense pattern is 12 clicks. The standard pattern is six clicks. So it was modeled. It was modeled on this, which I always open the wrong way. Uh, the Zero One EDC uh, mechanical three level slider. Uh, this is also the dense pattern, but it's a like, slightly less number of clicks. I believe it's 10 and then 10. Three levels, but uh, that's the same idea here. Two rows of uh, detents, which can be seen better this way. Let's get that in focus for you. You can also see on the inside here is where they've they've laser etched some information. I'll try to get that up for you. I think it says M M. M stainless steel, number 017 INT for international. Other side, I see 01 EDC down in there. Hope some of that came through for you. So that's where it's uh, that's where it's been tagged. Uh, I'm not sure what the middle piece is. It's very very soft though. I mean, I almost unintentionally made a fingernail mark on it uh, right here. As a matter of fact, you can see it. I was just pressing my fingernail right above the screw there, if you see a little line right there. Uh, uh, maybe it's not as dramatic as I thought. But I was able to push that in with my finger, and I, that's a little concerning. I, might, I think my thoughts are it might be uh, like black Teflon or dark gray Teflon. Or, you know, we usually see Teflon as a white substance, but I, I, think we've, I think it's available in different colors. So I'm assuming that that's black Teflon. <clears throat> Anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, and just compare it to a few things. And like I said, well, the, the last part of this here, we'll take it apart and put in the uh, put in the nylon balls. So um, everybody's I always say everybody's favorite. This isn't even my favorite. The CP3. It's just one of the early ones that I bought. I like I like the Nano better than this. Um, but everybody seems to have one of these, or at least something like it and it makes for a good comparison in size. So let's just do that right off the bat. Yeah, I might 
just keep everything down here on the pad. That seems to be a lot easier. Um, I brought out the other mechanicals that I had that were remotely similar. So again, here's the zero one. We'll do that. Here is the one pal by is it Lichu? They're pretty similar, actually. I should be opening them and comparing them that way too. Yeah, so this is a this is a four-click slider. This of course was 10 and 10, so I guess 20. And that is significantly longer. The old CP3. Longer. Of course, the three-level sliders are gonna be a lot longer. Um, this is my most recent acquisition from Gal Studios, and my actually still my current favorite, and that would be the uh, the Rich version three in stainless. So it is a uh, what is it? A one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight eight click. Either way, uh, mechanical or magnetic. Right now it's set up for mechanical. talking too much, not paying attention to what I'm doing. Start talking about this too much because I like it too. I've been really lucky. This was this is a most recent mail call. This was the next one to come. Um, <clears throat> here's an also another gal product, the Cashew. Uh, one of my review buddies there, uh, Sean, was just talking about it. He didn't care for it too much, but he had a Zerk one, black shiny Zerk one. Um, this one isn't polished. It's uh, uh, satin finish, so it, you'd think it would be easier to grip than the uh, shiny Zerk one, and even it is slippery for me, so it's kind of tricky. To, it's a tricky one to get used to, so I can understand if it's not your up your alley, but uh, anyhow, size-wise, see another dovetail slider. I love that dove. That is it. Those are all the comparisons I have for you. Um, Let's do weight here. A little over 80 grams. Like I said, this is available in zirconium also. Slightly higher price. Uh, oh, I brought my fancy calipers with me. Let's see if they, my fancy Harbor Freight ones that are always accurate. Let's see if they'll, no, they're shit in the bed already. Give me one moment while I grab my other calipers. Yeah, so this, set of calipers are garbage. I know that. Uh, they're only useful for small measurements. Uh, I brought them out here so I could measure the diameter of the balls and they are 2.84 millimeters. So rounded up three millimeters. But these are garbage. Don't rely on Harbor Freight for your accuracy. Okay, so these are a little easier to use. It is, uh, let's see, it is 45 millimeters tall. 28 millimeters wide and 12 between 11 and 12 millimeters thick oh maybe not because i had it resting in a funny spot there let's call it 12 even 12 millimeters even and then extended of course extended would be 63 millimeters so there we have weights measurements Think everything else that I can think of. Um, I usually consider the part where the dovetail is to be the bottom part, and I think they do as well because their logo is on top here, where you would expect the, you know, to see it most. The other side's blank, so uh, I consider this usually to be the bottom piece. And uh, I only mention that because sometimes these things work or feel a little bit better if you use them differently. Flip it upside down if it doesn't feel right. Um, I'm actually undecided on this one yet. Which do I like better? I'm not sure. Okay, it is time to take this puppy apart. Okay, we're going to need some tools here. This is again the T9 Torx. Is the right size? And you can just remove these two screws. You want to keep everything squeezed together just a little bit. There are two springs and balls inside there. 
you're not really on the loose until you unscrew both screws. So now, it doesn't matter where I'm at really. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring it back to the middle. I gently lift off this back piece. You know, I did not really show you what I wanted to show you there. And what I wanted to show you was, before you go taking the back piece off, sit it down so that the, the, the divot, the detent side, is facing up. Because if you put it down this way, everything kind of falls out as you lift off the top. If you put it down on the counter this way, with the detents facing up, when you lift off this top, everything won't spill out. So it doesn't matter where you're at, you don't have to bring it back to center or anything, you can just lift this off when you're done unscrewing it. And you see there's the two springs. And then under the springs are a couple of those caps, and then the balls. So we got little brass caps. I might have said those were stainless steel. Um, maybe I didn't. I don't, maybe I'm getting confused with something else recently that I got. Um, but those are brass. And uh, This side, I've taken it apart. Um, I've already shown you what's written on the inside there. Um, there's no real need that I can see to take this apart. I took it apart out of curiosity. We'll go ahead and do it again here. This is a bigger screw than the other two, so don't try to put the bigger one into the smaller holes later. You're, you'll uh, not be successful. So now that comes off. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that performs the purpose of being a stop. You know, the bottom of the screw comes out and it hits, it impacts on both of these sides. So that that's what prevents this thing from falling apart on you. We'll just put that back. This is where I was a little concerned earlier. This material is so soft. Be very, very careful when you tighten this down. I wouldn't go any further than just barely snug. Um, and then check it later to see if it's coming out loose or not, but uh, I'm really hesitant about that. Anyhow, uh, once you have that Put together which you didn't have to take apart in the first place you can change your balls which I said we were gonna do we were gonna put in the nylon balls let's get both nylon balls down here alrighty you drop those in and then take these brass caps there's really no other way to do this I'd rather approach I would rather approach this from the opposite side of this plate, but there's really no, I've been thinking about it, and there's just no way to do that with this. Um, so the balls have to go in first, and if you're going to use these little brass caps, they have to go in next, and they have to go in, you remember, upside down, because they're cupped on one side, and they've got that little post part that sticks up, that sits inside the spring. And once you drop it down in there, you have to use something like this to adjust it and get it all lined up in the center and then take your spring and try to put it down right on top of that. And do the same thing over here. See, that's that's wrong way up. I flip it over, that's the right way up. And once it's down in there, I'm gonna take my tweezers and sort of center it on top of the sphere. I'm gonna take a spring and put it right on top of that. It's really not difficult, but Keep everything lined up there. Um, we're done with the steel balls. Put them out of the picture. Now all you have to do is put this back on. You see there's a small, they've, they've made a small countersink here as clearance. This, this middle screw does stick up a little bit. So that'll sit there. And of course the two screws, they're gonna come in through the back of this and into this plate. So you just put this Put everything back down in a vertical way as much as you can. Push it all together, hold it together, flip it over, push it off to one side so you can get access to the screw hole. 
drop a screw down in there. Again, I'm only going to snug that down. Don't crank down on it. Okay. Now we're back together. And we are with nylon. And that is my preferred. That is upside down, kind of, sort of. Just to clarify, I forgot to bring it up earlier, I do have the, the images. Um, so I said this is the dense pattern. This is the dense pattern, and then what the other the other one they have, the less dense pattern, is uh, is called standard. And here are what those look like. So again, it's 12 detents. In this case, it's 12 detents. Uh, on the standard version, it would be six. So I call it a 12-click mechanical slider. And I like it. I like it a lot. I really like the, I don't know, I like the feel of it. The size and the shape. It's like a little bar. So, you know, it's like, it's like the little bars of soap you find in hotels. But a lot more fun. I think that's it, folks. Let me know if you have any questions. In the comments, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.